Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, what are you worried about today? Are you worried about the family Christmas plans since Christmas is, you know, less than two weeks away? Are you worried about your diet because of all the holiday treats that are going to be there? Are you worried about paying off your credit cards that you've charged up so you can bless the kids or the grandkids or your spouse? Are you worried about your health and all the stress of the holidays? Are you worried about your job or or with all the parties, the, your sobriety. See, worry invades and disrupts our lives. Even though we know God tells us to trust him, we worry. Jesus, in Matthew 6, tells us this, verse 34. He says, Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Now, the entire passage that precedes this is Jesus telling us not to worry, not to worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear, uh, because God knows your needs before you ask any of them, and he's with you, and he's going to take care of you. Instead, he says, look, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all the other stuff will be taken care of. In other words, don't worry, pray. Don't be consumed with worry, work. Don't be anxious, serve. Don't worry, worship. See, worry anticipates the negative that has not happened. And when we just focus on what could happen that we're afraid of, it fills our life with anxiety. Instead, prayer, work, serving, giving, worshiping, it, those are all things that actively engage God and bring ourselves to a place of being used by God to make a difference in this world. Now, what I'm telling you is serving does make a difference in your life. It also makes a difference in other people's lives. Worship makes a difference in your life as well as in other people's lives. Praying makes a difference in your life. All these things that God encourages us to do are not just because he wants us to do them, but they're for our own benefit, including our own mental health benefit. So today, I'm just going to encourage you, let's not worry. Instead, let's do something that is redemptive in the name of Jesus. I hope that helps. God bless Calvary.